everybody we find ourselves back at universal studios orlando and this week we decided to stop by the custom gear shop in case you don't know what that is that is the new gift shop that will well that is opened right now for fast and furious and uh soon that ride's going to be open so just showing you a few of the cars that are they've actually just moved these up front uh, i believe probably in the last uh, week and a half uh so anyway of course you can't see into them very well so i wanted to take you in and just show you around and show you some of the merchandise with prices stuff like that i actually recorded this in the store but of course as youtube tends to do now because there was any music around it uh, didn't work so anyway that shirt right there I wasn't real impressed by it was just a silk screen 25 bucks not a horrible price but to me it just didn't really uh, sing out loud to me so probably wouldn't buy that one I did in fact however oh yeah Connor wanted to see the hat and the price on it 23.95 for the hat would you buy that hat Connor Probably not. That's a bit steep. <laughs> and I think I asked him the same thing in the recording if you hear this. But anyway, the cup I did like. I thought the cup was kind of nice for 20 bucks. Not horrible. Big cup. I don't drink coffee, but I still thought the, that the uh, cup was pretty nice. I do remember looking at these models and thinking, these would be good for kids. Uh, if you're looking to just uh, purchase something for your kids to uh, play with you know, and spend time with in the parks or even during your trip. Uh, we'll look at one here in a little bit, and you can look at the price. The bottle opener. These seem to be popular. Everybody's selling bottle opener now, openers now. Twelve ninety five. I thought was really expensive for a bottle opener, but uh, they they seem to be about that price all over the parks in different you know uh, designs. Let's see here. Did I? Oh yes, I did look at the price on this. Forty bucks, which is pretty common right now for a sweatshirt or a long sleeve shirt of that style. The jewelry thing, I don't get, but uh, there it is. And let's see here, looking around at cups, making my way still around. Uh, some, oh, different cups here. I thought the color of these was, was really cool. And for $14.95, not a bad price. So um, I think it helps. I like this movie, but I'm not really into the entire franchise. Uh, but it helps probably if I was a crazed franchise, you know, uh, goon for all this. Don't mean to call people goons, so. Anyway, <laughs> that shirt that they just showed, if you looked, I, it was, I think it was thirty four ninety five maybe, and it had like that uh, alligator skin kind of on the sleeves I'm showing. This shirt right here in front of us was the same amount of money. Uh, these cups, I believe, yes. I'm going to put my hand up here, grab these, nineteen ninety five for glasses. So they do have a lot of forms of cups, glasses, all that stuff, that if you'd be interested in buying any of those. Then I got over into these. These were the uh, cars. I think they're about. Um, well, I'll look at the price here in a minute, and you can uh, we'll kind of see this together. I believe they were like twenty nine ninety five, maybe. Uh, come on, show it to me. Yes, twenty nine ninety five. And I thought for thirty bucks, seems like it's a lot of money. But uh, basically, if your kids are really interested in that stuff, for thirty dollars. Um, that could give them something that they're actually use on your entire trip while you're there and it'll keep them busy and uh, Let's face it. You can blow 30 bucks in these parks in a lot of places, but uh, But for 30 bucks in the car, I think they'd probably be something that keeps them interested for a little while They do have a lot of assortments of backpacks that one of course is 50 bucks Don't think I look at the prices of the rest of them too much But uh, they have a lot of assortments of backpacks for around probably 50 bucks if you're into backpacks okay let's see here let's keep things moving along oh this jacket connor thought the jacket was nice but he thought that it'd be nicer if it did not it was a hundred bucks by the way if it didn't have the lettering for fast and furious on the sleeve he liked the jacket but without the lettering 100 bucks too i thought was pretty steep for the jacket but um if that's uh you know something you like so you can see they have hoodies they have a lot of additional pins key change stuff like that of course your usual drink cooler uh, i was making my way here to the back but i'll get there in a second a four car set five car set for 34.95 i think probably might even be a better deal if your kids like assortments of cars than the 30 dollar car we looked at a little while ago and this one was also i think 29.95 i'm sorry i didn't see what that said there uh anyway these are all cars too from the movies in case you haven't seen the movies and 
your kids probably young kids probably haven't seen the movies so um and so anyway so we've got onesies in case you want to dress your new baby up and you know hoochie wear or something anyway speaking of hoochie wear yeah you got short shorts <laughs> <laughs> this has gone off the rails. Anyway, loved this car. This jerk, though, just kept standing there, and he wouldn't move. And I kept thinking, well, I'd like to get a picture of the car, but this guy won't move. And so he just keeps standing there. And, I, of course, I don't want to put the, oh, I'm showing the Fast and Furious videos on the uh, stand. But I didn't want to just, you know, focus the camera at him. Uh, and see, there he is, still standing there. What's the matter with this guy? He's just standing there. What a jerk. Anyway... <laughs> I don't think I'm going to show him anymore. The, the truth about it is, it's the Madame Tussauds wax figure of uh, Vin Diesel. And I'm such an idiot that I didn't even realize that he was a wax figure. So, I, of course, he had just been put there a couple of days before. I, of course, didn't film him because I didn't want to be rude and stick the camera in someone's face. Even a wax figure. So, RC cars. Wanted to run over here real quick and uh, show these. I think it was like 100 bucks. Maybe, oh, there we go, eighty six ninety six for a uh, RC car. That's not actually horrible. You'd probably pay that pretty close to that in uh, Toys R Us or one of those places. I thought this was neat, internal combustion engine. I remember these when I was a kid. Of course, they show a picture here, 350 bucks for a signed picture of Michelle Rodriguez, and I said, yeah, they can keep that. Anyway, <laughs> anyway uh, this motor, back to the motor. And the internal combustion engine, I thought this was cool. I remember growing up with these, and you could put them together and take them apart, and it really taught you a lot about how a real internal combustion engine works. So I like the fact that they did have that in here. Um, <laughs> Connor keeps throwing his head back in, oh dear, you know, mode of what is he talking about. Okay, so I think this is the last thing I focused on over here. Uh, not the little bobblehead guys, they're Vin Diesel bobblehead but these cars, uh, you could buy them and assemble them, and you could buy different body kits to go over them, stuff like that, so that you could kind of design your own car. And I think we go through certain parts. I believe, though, they, by the time they range out, uh, probably by the time you get all the parts and everything, I think they come up to around 30 bucks or so. Since they're specifically kind of designed and put together if your child's helping to pick the parts and put them together they kind of feel like it's their car they're the ones who have designed it i like this idea and so it is just another variation of finding a toy something that your uh, kids might want to play with but something that's designed and then they can put it on this track here and they can race it around the track um, i thought that was a great great touch to a store and really for a movie that a lot of kids haven't seen and probably wouldn't know about or be interested in, but it does give uh, you know something for the kids to get instead of just the adults walking around saying you know, how great the store is or they're interested in the merchandise. It actually gives something to kind of pull the kids in and help them to also be able to uh, you know, just enjoy the store while at the same time you're pulling young kids into the brand of Fast and Furious, trying to keep it alive, you know, for the next, what, 65 movies. Anyway, um, kind of looking here, I was looking at prices of different uh, cars and stuff like that, and that's kind of where I had figured out the price would probably come in around uh, 30 bucks for a car. Uh, I just wanted to show a couple of, of additional shirts here. Uh, what is this, so for like 49.95, I think, for that. And then we, of course, get out of here. So hopefully you enjoyed this review. And uh, we'll be back soon with uh, additional merchandise reviews. And soon with video of Fast and Furious. Bye.